Let's start off. Hello YouTube. In today's video, I did some bait fishing, which I haven't done for a long time. Throwing bunker chunks or bait fishing in general to a lot of people is a very rudimentary way of fishing. But I found it's very enjoyable and can be challenging too. First, let's talk about bait. Everyone knows that the fresher, the better. Here the bunker I was using in this video was netted by myself using a six foot test net. Four days before this trip. Then I freeze the bunker until I use them. It works just equally as good as fresh bait. The most challenging part is to keep the bait from freezer burn. Here's how I do to freeze fresh bunker. I soak the bait in seawater after catching them. Then I added ice and lots of sea salt in the cooler. Then dumping the bait and seawater into the cooler. Wait for a couple of hours to let the fish sit in salt brine and chill. This process will toughen the meat a little bit. I then use Ziploc freezer bags to store them. Before you fully seal the bag, submerge the whole bag in a bucket of water. Using the water pressure to create an, a vacuum in the bag. And then with all the air out of the bag, you can now store the bait in the freezer. I found if you freeze bunker this way, in a short period of time, like a week or so, the frozen bunker will s still be very fresh and it even contains the slime coat and doesn't smell bad at all.
Okay, let's talk about rigging. I use the simplest rig known to man, the fish finder rig. I use a piece of 8 to 10 inches, 50 pound test model filament line to the hook, and then a barrel swivel to the main line. Uh, adding a sinker slide or a coastal lock at the sinker slide too. A bead to protect the knot. On my setup, I have a section of a 60 pound top shot or shock leader attached to the main line using FG knot. You can play with the length of the leader to use in different uh, conditions. A general rule is longer the leader and the short the casting distance. Since longer leader will cause the bait to helicopter in the air. The gear I'm using here is the Pan Squitter 140 reel. Paired with a made in the USA star rod 11 foot surf casting rod, rated for 4 to 8 ounces. This combo is very sensitive. I could feel even the smallest taps. Yes, I bring a sand tube with me uh, when I'm chunking, but uh, I found if you leave the rod in the sand tube, you will miss some fish. Just like in the beginning of the video, we heard the bait clicker went off and then went back to set the hook. It's probably not the best way to do that. With the rod in your hand, you will be able to tell if the fish is committed to the bait. If you're casting heavy payload, I found the easiest way to launch is to use off the ground cast. You can use other casting techniques too, but uh, your bait may fly off the hook if you put too much power into your cast. The tournament style cast definitely is not the best choice here. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video. Highlights.